Alright, so hello and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So let's double check he's not sitting this way and let's get started. One down, and the long way to the left, of course. Because we can just continue going left. Similar to lead to last segment. I may end up having a bite to eat if uh, my characters start getting hurt a bit. I'm not 100% sure what I just got hit with there. Hopefully nothing dangerous. Well, I made it out of the first card anyway because, uh... Yeah, the music started and the... Noise went away. So I probably made it to the table. I'm not. I don't seem to be getting any battles. I'm not sure what that move was, so I'm gonna eat at the table and just to make sure I'm at full. I didn't have to do this in my test run, but I planned for it in the event that it would happen. This one to that cutscene that I thought after your HP gets restored. Alright, up to the top, and now back out. My plan was to run into that table either way, and then just back out of the compartment, because there's no battles in this compartment. So I figured there was no issue if I ran in here and ended up taking a few extra steps. One, two, one, two. So now I'm out of here. Down, around the cart. This dungeon is really, really weirdly laid out. It, it's hard to explain, but it's really weird to walk through here blindfolded. I mean, it's kind of weird to walk through anywhere blindfolded, but this place in particular. All the way to the left. One, two, one, two. Alright, so now I need to go left and down. Alright, that's okay. Generally the worst thing that could happen is blaze, particularly a single target blaze on the ghost, who I'm gonna really want to keep alive. Yeah, it was seven. Or whoever's at the top. I think it's seven. It might still be Shadow from the Imperial base. I don't like these uh, outdoors battles, so the most dangerous ones. Well, it's a free escape anyway. Oh crud. I used a potion by accident on that first fight, I didn't mean to do that. Don't want him to be hurt. So yeah, that was dumb. I, I mixed it up with my Brave New World item positions, where dried meat is at the very t Wait a minute, then again... Wouldn't I have switched that by now? Back one. Up the ladder. All the way left. This is so much faster than going through the carts. So I'm not gonna bother with that. Even though this is slightly harder to plan a route for. 
And I don't get to fight Siegfried, but yeah, whatever. I don't get anything either for it, so... Alright, now I should have came down from the second ladder. One up. Now, now I continue worming my way over to land in the next slot. There seems to be a pattern to this, I'm noticing. <laughs> Enter battle, get demied, escape. Alright, uh... I'm pretty sure I used two tonics on the ghost, which means this is probably tonics. Yeah, because a potion would easily reheal everything. Alright, so, so for some reason, in this one little spot that's kind of weird here, you can ca almost walk off the train. Like, <laughs> there's this little ladder here. And the strange thing is, you can't actually go on any of the other ones in this area. I'm probably there already. One up, one right, up. And this train car's top is a little bit different from the last one, because there's a hole in the middle. So, I just run to the hole, and then I can once run straight down. It would make it easier, except for the fact that now I just have to remember two different train carts, so... It's actually not all that helpful. I have to go a long time here without uh, getting any real indication of where I am, so... Could have still messed this up easily. Alright then, so one up, into the cart theoretically. Down one. One, two, three, four. Alright. So theoretically the... There we go. Good, I got into the door. Theoretically the ghost could have gotten my way there, but he would have had to book it over to the left side for his speed. Phoenix down. Something useless. Other Phoenix down, and... It's a trap! Oh wait, it's not Brave New World. <laughs> I'm supposed to save that. Nice! The ghost was the first turn to come up, and that's it! That guy's a serious pain in the butt if the ghost isn't in the party, though, because, yeah, obvious reasons. So, one to the left, all the way down. Wait, that wasn't the plan. That's okay. Just gotta revise the plan. Alright, so that's presuming I entered the door. I'm very close to the end now. Well, I am moving left, that's a good sign. If I ran into the wall there, I wouldn't have gone nearly that far. Well, I guess it depends on how long the ghost delayed me, in theory, but... I only have three characters in my party now, but it's actually less dangerous because if I lose one, it's just a phoenix down rather than a restart, so... Yeah, no big deal. So have I made it, do I think? I probably have. Down. One. Two. Three. Okay. Did I forget a card? One, two, three, four. Hopefully that'll be good enough to reset me, possibly. If I did get stuck on a wall somewhere. Alright, uh, let's try to do a pattern that might move me over to the thing, even if... Move me to somewhere I know, even if uh, I'm in a couple different spots.
One, two. Yeah, that's probably it. Yep, there we go. Figured that would work. That was a pretty easy fix. The Phantom Train is so linear. Alright, so that was an easy segment. No mess ups. Well, no game breaking mess ups. Just a small mess up. So until next time. <laughs>